Okay, so the RSAI strategy. Um, I didn't want to close that because I wanted to put all the labels and everything so you can see how the RSAI strategy works today. All right. Here we have the harmonic VWAP. Then we have neuros, 3 RSI. here and we have it set on six and the one hour chart a spike happens it starts to downtrend it's a down spike immediately after the spike within the four day range this uh, neuro uh, signal is going to be correct uh, this is within uh, the four or five day frame so that then it, um, on a next sent signal will be correct okay price comes down all right it didn't start a new cycle this is in two days so it didn't start a new cycle new cycle would be like six days out expect the price you know from this one you grab that one it's a good uh, win there 140 pips but you can get some more when you see this appear you know it's going to continue when I see these I know price is going to continue going down and going to break it okay so what I'll do I have all these things I've been doing this and working on this for a while um, price enter my 35 pip stop each pair and each pair is somewhat different, but this is for our cat. I'm showing you for our cat. This is a little, you know, giveaway here. Um, uh, price goes down to 60 pips. Okay, I move my pips up every 20 increment increments to protect my risk. Um, and I have a four day length to. Uh, you know if I'm getting in and out, in or out of the trade. You know, if the trade is not out of the box and I haven't moved my pips up to 40 um, and prices hits that four day, I'm out of the trade regardless of where it is. Unless it's beyond 60 and if it's still holding beyond 60, of course, I'm just moving my stop up to 60 or whatever. So, uh, and then you'll have a... Um, uh, finishing off the first finishing off that cycle well cycle cycle finishing off you'll have a, a, a spike that's gonna actually um, hold price and you won't see any other um, notifications for a six-day period and then you have the subsets that come in with the price continues down below this point. Oh, first off, uh, during that six day period, price is going to return to the first breach spike, the first breach notification or entry. Okay. That's 93 pips. And it can maybe could it can go another way, right? But this continue down past this spike. I mean, I call it spike. Past this arrow, okay. Past that entry, which was a buy. It was past that entry, right? You can short that if you want, or you can wait. Um, you can get in it, short it, right? So. Uh, I'm trying to remember this one because it's beyond six day. This one was out, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yes. Beyond six day. Oh, no, that's right. I did that wrong. Sorry. That wasn't the one that was out. This one hit target. Again, that's a subset after the break. price comes down, hits the target, then comes up, 
back to the entry. Didn't give much back, all right? Comes down, then another notification pops up. Um, I'm shorting it. Comes in 20 pips. I moved my pips to zero, so I made nothing on this before it went back up to this point. Just about 40 pips, and then turned around, and then went down to 60, almost 60. So that's all right. You know, you could adjust it, like say, okay, I'm doing all of them 40 or whatever, but yeah, whatever. I mean, it's good the way it is. Um, oh, and it says top. Uh, first trend entry point feels during the break period. That's what I was talking about earlier. Let's move on down. <clears throat> this is subset two, where we have the next um, after the break, that, and that big spike, and then a break. Um, that, that subset two, um, we got the same thing, pretty much. Um, no, I'm sorry, I already said subset two. Yeah, I already said subset two. Um, then after subset two, and you get that third one, uh, the third one should um, should um, close. I mean, should be profitable. You can take it or not. You know, you can just leave it alone, right? Um, and then this is within the two day. Like when you get, as I said, price. Hits SL on the reverse and the next signal should be correct, no reverse. So, uh, because the next buy signal is inside the four day with two days gap. So, we've got you know, this one should hit your SL or should go above you know, your SL. That next spike is going to be correct. There's ne that next spike. I mean, that next, I keep calling it Spike, man. I'm tired. It's 2 in the morning. Forgive me. Um, that next grab is going to be a buy because we saw what happened within that box. Price didn't get down here, okay? It ended up hitting SL. So that next one you want to buy, or you can just not do anything and wait for the, wait for the, uh, the opposite spike. What happens is the opposite spikes happens within the four day. It's going to be correct, okay? It's going to be correct. So you're going to, you know, get in. All right, grab that. That's going to be a good 80 pips for you. 80, 90, 100 pips for you, right? Um, uh, if you didn't even do that, you still get something out of here. You get 50 pips out of here. Okay. After that comes here, and you're gonna say you're gonna get like 20 pips out because your SL is gonna hit. You know, you move your SL into into profit. It's gonna snap back and get like 40 or whatever, or something like 30 or 40. You wanna give it about 20 pips room. Okay. Uh, like a trailing stop. You know, like a 20 pip trailing stop. All right. That's gonna come up to the to that 35. Um, oh, and also notice uh, that price, again, hit that resistance right here. This area here is an area of resistance right there, okay? Price comes down. Come back to that 35. Because it hit that 35, should break that down. Well, um, I don't know. So, all right, so that comes up, it's that 35 there, right? Comes down. This one's going to be uh, very powerful. It's going to come down. You're going to have a spike, and then this is going to breach. The third subset, sub, subset should fill and end with a spike. The first breach opposing candle, four days gap, does not apply where... Uh, here when it's a spike in price 
So, but it ended up being flagged to a 21 day break. So, they're starting the cycle over again, it's beyond six days. So, uh, do not leave the trade open longer than four days. Trade open longer than four days. If no new signal happens and it has not passed the TP 60 pips, I told you that earlier, right? All right. So, we got a breach, breach, right? So it's trade. I don't even feel like moving that box. The breach didn't hit SL, so you can do the next one breach. And I hit your 60. Oh man. Oh boy. Anyway, I, I try not to mess it up. Um, hit your 60. Well, almost right. Not quite. This happened inside there, so price of you already be in the trade, so but that's just they send up one trade actually. Um uh another short comes up at the same level as this other one way back here. Um so if the second signal sequence uh fails uh to be if i mark okay oh second signal um so if second signal sequence fails it may be a flat market coming yeah it didn't breach right it actually filled it could be a flat market because it should be pushing like it should be one after the other sequential um if, if it fills see this ended up filling right i didn't get much of a you know what i mean uh, a trend going and this one was actually, uh, was it six day or five day? Uh, it wasn't, okay, it wasn't the six day, so it's not even a reset. So that's why it ended up being successful. So that one's right behind it. It ended up being successful. Um, then you got that flat market. You're going to see these two volumes drop. That's that volume dropping you see when it squeeze together there. Oh, flay. Yeah, it's a flay market. Flat market. Then spike outside of the harmonic VWAP. Signals a breakout. Then new trend opposite side. Now time to catch reverse trade. First breakout. So watch out for no signal. As it appears outside the harmonic rewap, it say tend to fulfill. This is gonna go 60 pips. This one's gonna go 60 pips. Even worse, right? Um, and then the six days gap, we start to cycle with the breach. Got a breach. Got a breach here. Okay. But that did the same thing, so this is most likely gonna be a flat market. So kind of, okay, sort of, yeah, sort of. Well, yeah, it wasn't like pushing, trending in. Uh, don't forget, sometimes after a breach, new signal will fill because of four-day windows. Hits exactly, yeah. A new breach, but then the opposite side. Remember the opposite trade inside that four-day window? Well, inside the six-day, basically. Inside the six day is going to fulfill. There it is. Then you start getting where um, this, the gap, you have that six day gap, and they start to breach. Didn't hit the four, didn't hit the 35 here. So we know the next one's going to breach, and so on and so forth. And that is the RSAI blueprint strategy. Um, yeah. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe videos if you'd like to see more of these. Have a great one.